At the end of the Second World War, the Japanese car industry was on its knees. But then it stood up again. In fact, the present-day Nissan Skyline GTR is very probably the most advanced car on the planet. It has twin ceramic turbochargers, four-wheel drive and four-wheel steering. Fifty years ago, Japan was wiped out, yet now they're making cars as good as this. But both of them are blown into the seaweeds by the killer blue. You get the sense with the Nissan Skyline that it was never intended to compete with a BMW or a Porsche. This thing was very obviously designed by the arcade game generation to take on the Sega Rally Machine. It's a £50,000 PlayStation. You don't so much drive this car as cling on for dear life. It makes even the most ham-fisted driver feel like they've been suddenly fitted with God's feet. You can get into the most terrible mess and the computer's just sort everything out for you. Then there's the interior. Ordinarily in a Japanese car, you look at the dashboard and think, oh dear, but in this you think, my word, what's that? Well, that's a sort of electronic readout computer thing, and if you press this, it gives you a different set of readings. I've got my boost pressure, my throttle position, injector, something or other, oil temperature, but this is the best one, okay? This is my G meter. Now, when I brake, it goes like that, and when I accelerate, it goes like that. But what you have to try and do is get it off the scale on the lateral G, which means being quite vigorous, really. <laughs> right off the scale, then. More than one G while cornering. And the great thing is, is that you can download this information into your PC on this connector here. And then you can compare your drive home from work with the drive home last night. Should make you a hit with the girls. And don't think this Japaneseiness is restricted only to the world of performance cars. It isn't. 